last the nights of Ramadan. Where there is a night that Allah Azza wa Jal told us that it is better than 83 years of ibadah, not equal, khayrun min alfi shahr, better than 83 years of constant acts of worship. Allahu Akbar. Let's assume you make $50,000 a year and your boss said, I need this project in 10 days. And if you finish it in 10 days, I'm going to give you 83 years salary, $4 million. I would sleep in the office. I would make sure that the project is done. Forget about the millions, ya akhwan. The millions are going to stay above the ground. I want something to lighten my grave. And these are the 10 nights where Rasulullah used to be the most active in these 10 nights. Tighten his belt. Wake up his family. If you can do itikaf, Allahu Akbar, the whole 10 days. If you can do just a weekend, that's also itikaf. What's your plan for these 10 days? It could be very possible that it could be the last time we ever witness these 10 nights. What's the plan? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored this night by sending the most honored angel with the most honored book to the most honored human being, to the best and most honored land, Mecca. Everything is qadr. Everything is honored on that night. The angels, there's no spot on earth except the angels are full. From now, these 10 nights, Ya Allah, I'm going to do this, this, this and that. I'm going to perform every single night qiyam and tahajjah. I'm gonna maybe finish the whole Quran and reading. I'm gonna give this much. And if you want to give, let's say, a thousand dollars in these ten nights, make sure you divide it over the ten nights. You want to give a thousand, make it a hundred a night. So you can be from the people who every single night they gave a sadaqa, they gave charity. In these nights, I want you to ask Allah Azza wa Jal the impossible. Tell yourself, the one who gave Zakaria alayhi salam a baby can solve my problems. The one who gave Yaqub his sight back can solve my problems. The one who turned the fire into coolness with Ibrahim alayhi salam can solve my issues. Ask Allah the impossible. Remember that he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, It is very easy for me. Have that in the back of your mind when you're raising your hands in these blessed nights. Do not worry about the how. Get busy by asking how is from Allah, from the Qadir, from the Azim, from the Hakim, from the one who named himself Al-Mujib, the one who answers the dua. This is the way you have to approach the dua these 10 nights with solid yaqeen, certainty that Allah will answer my dua and that what he himself has promised.